Setting up for putting is very important to be consistent. Also, where your eyes are positioned is probably the most important part of the setup. So I have heard throughout my entire career over and over that the eyes should be directly over the ball. I, I don't buy into that. In fact, I find it to be incorrect. Your eyes should not be directly over the ball. They should be underneath the ball and behind so you can see down the line. Have you ever seen a sharpshooter with his head over the rifle like this? No. You see him looking right down the barrel. You want your eyes behind the ball so you can look right down the line of the putt. Also, you want them short of the ball so that you can get a bit of an arc on your stroke. If your eyes are directly over the ball, the putter has to go straight back and straight through without any, any curvature whatsoever. It's a very difficult stroke to obtain. So practically speaking, we need to have our eyes short and behind. As I set up for this putt, I'm going to put a ball on my nose and drop it and we'll see where it lands. It landed right here. My eyes are behind looking right down the line, allowing me to see where I want the putter to go and extending it to the target. That's a critical element in being able to see the line, read the line. If our eyes are directly over the ball, there's almost like there's a wall visually we can't see out into the putt. Also in the setup, ball position is critical. It's critical to be consistent and here's why. As we move the ball back in our stance, we de-loft the putter. As we move the ball forward, we add loft to the putter. So we want to find that one point where the loft in our putter matches and gives us the perfect roll. We should start out at around four degrees of loft. That seems to be ideal for an impact. Now, as we move the ball back in our stance, we're de-lofting the putter. And so we need more loft if we play the ball back in our stance. As we move the ball forward, we're adding loft. So we need less loft to start with because at impact, we want to have four degrees. Give or take a half a degree will, will give us the optimum roll. What is the optimum roll? An optimum roll is when the ball starts out with the equator going almost level to the ground and slowly turning over. And that's what four degrees of loft at impact will do. If we have less than four degrees of loft, it drives the ball into the ground and the ball will be bouncing. If we hit it with more than four degrees of loft, the ball comes up in the air with backspin and then hit the ground bouncing before it starts to roll. Where I choose to play it is off of my instep. I like it right off of my heel here and this allows me a chance for the putter to have reached the bottom of the arc and actually start ascending at impact. It's already reached the bottom of the arc and it's slightly coming up and the four degrees of loft gets the ball just out of its impression on the green and rolling properly to the hole. Now although I prefer to have the ball off the instep so that I'm hitting the ball on a slight upswing, you can putt very well from the ball back in your stance. If you do that, one of two things needs to happen. You need to have a lot more loft on your putter, or you need to putt with your hands back. If you like to have the ball even forward of your front foot, you can putt very well doing that also. But you have to have either less loft, or you have to putt with your hands way ahead. There's a lot of different ways to make putts.